Imagine your name is Karl Friedrich. You are 10 years old and attending an elementary school math class. Your unenthusiastic teacher has given you the boring task to add every number from 1 to 1000. Okay, fair enough, this shouldn't be too hard. We simply go ahead and add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 18, oh, okay, okay, okay. Those are a lot of numbers. Isn't there a simpler way to do this? Yes. Just be the greatest mathematician in history. If we take a range of numbers from 1 to 10 and at the same range in reversed order, it becomes evident that each of the 10 number pairs has the same sum, in this case 11. This sum equals the amount of numbers we want to add together, plus 1. If we were to calculate 11 plus 11 plus 11, etc., this would yield the same result as simply calculating 10 times 11, the number of pairs multiplied by the common sum. However, we are not done yet. We still need to divide our result by 2, as we have added every number from 1 to 10 twice. Of course, this calculation does work for any range of numbers from 1 to whatever upper limit we desire. Therefore, we can generalize it and devise the following formula. n times, in brackets, n plus 1 divided by 2, with n being the upper end of a number range. Here's another way to picture this. Let's say n is 5. You can draw the sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in vertical bars. Then, when you add the mirrored triangle shape, you can see a resulting rectangle with the dimensions n and n plus 1, the size being twice of what we've started with. Okay, now let's apply this to a dull task of adding every number from 1 to 1000. 1000 times 1000 plus 1 in brackets divided by 2 is the same as 1000 times 1001 divided by 2, which is 1 million and 1000 divided by 2, leading us to a final result of 500,500. 500.